Hey guys, Zach here, Small Town Bourbon. Getting pretty close to the end of this first round. This is going to be rounds 14 and 15 of my 32 bourbons that cost under $65. I was thinking about doing all three, 14, 15, and 16 tonight, but it didn't work out that way. So this is going to be 14. My wife Jessica labeled these and poured these glasses for me, so I don't know which one is which. She labeled it A and B. I'm going to start over here with B. It's a beautiful nose. Vanilla, sugar, cinnamon. All right, let's try it out. That's really good. Wow. That is a good bourbon. So much flavor. It starts off sweet, like a brown sugar on the front of your tongue. Has a lot of like baking spice, maybe some cinnamon in the middle. And it has, sticks around for a really long time. Very creamy. That is delicious. I hope A is good. <laughs> it may be going home tonight. A has a good nose too. It's floral. Really nice though. Very sweet. Try it out. A is really good. It's it's very sweet. It's got a lot. It's it's kind of a. It's lighter, a lot lighter than B was. I think it's lower proof. But the sweetness is light is lighter too. It's not like brown sugar. It's more lighter, like a I don't know candy sugar maybe. Now I get a little bit of like a fruit on the back, maybe a cherry. It's a really easy drinker, very approachable, but whatever B is, it's really good. So that's going to be my pick tonight. Let's find out who they are. Mm. Well, this, this outcome does not surprise me. So A, the loser, is going to be the Bowman Brothers Small Batch, 90 proof. It is a pretty good bottle. Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to find around here. I wouldn't say it's worth hunting for it, but I think it was $35. I bought this bottle in Georgia, and it is good. It's kind of a lighter sipper for me. If I'm in that kind of mood, if I don't want something deep and dark. But it did get beat tonight. The one I got beat by is definitely one of my favorites. Got to be in my top 10. That's going to be the early times bottled in bond. So it was higher proof. It is 100 proof. And this is the blue top. But it is just a really great bottle. I enjoy it a lot. Definitely one of my daily drinker, daily pours. 
it's like 28 bucks and you get a liter. It is allocated here in Alabama, but there's a store down the road from me that, that keeps it in stock pretty well. And it's moving on to the Sweet 16, coming on up. All right, I am going to swap over. All right, guys, it's going to be round 15, 32 bourbons that cost under 65 bucks. My beautiful wife, Jessica, poured these for me, blinded them. She labeled them A and B. I'm going to start over here with A. It's a nice nose. I'm getting like a creamy strawberry, like a little vanilla and a little strawberry. I like it. Let's try it out. That's good. I'm getting kind of a nutty thing on this. Maybe like an almond. Some baking spice in the back. It feels pretty good in my mouth. Didn't hang around for a real long time. But really good. I like it. Let's see what B has. I don't love the nose as much. It's florally. That's about all I'm getting. I'm getting like a little bit of ethanol on it. But not bad. Let's try it out. It's not bad. I'm getting like a maple syrup sweetness on the front, just a touch. It's not a very sweet bourbon. And that's followed up with some baking spice in the back. You can taste some oak in it, but not, not too bad. Now, I think I'm have to go back to A. Mm. This one's a little closer than that one was. Mm. Hmm. These have actually turned out pretty close for me, guys. I think tonight I'm going to go with B. I like the nose on A better. 
But the palette on B, it, it it feels a little thicker in my mouth. It's a little creamier. It hangs around with me a little longer. So now I think I'm going to go with B. But whatever these are, it was pretty close. Hmm. Man, I like the one that lost. So the one that lost is Old Forester 100. Gray bottle. I do enjoy sipping it. I love making old fashions with it. I think for the price in the 20s, 25, 27, 100 proof. I think it's hard to beat in that category. The one that beat it cost a good bit more, but I do like it. I did want to put one in here from this company. So the winner tonight, B, is going to be the Clyde Mays six-year. This barrel proof. I don't think it's barrel proof, but it is 110 proof. So a little higher proof. It did have 10 on the old Forester. And it did come in. I think this bottle cost me right at $60. Clyde Mays is sourced. I think it may be MGP. But this is a pretty good bottle. Uh, not super old, six-year-old. But it does have a lot of great flavor in it. And I do enjoy it. And it is moving on to the Sweet 16. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you tonight. Small Town Bourbon. See you next time.